Laura, good for you. Jeremy, kick rocks with open-toed shoes. Hey, y'all, hey, if you're new, hi. If not, welcome back, babes. Episodes 10 through 11 had tears, breakups, and breakups to make up. On today's recap, we will be discussing how juicy but fake this season is. I am putting Chelsea in the hot seat. AD's mom will be touching on Clay and my predictions for episode 12 and the reunion. Just a disclaimer, there will be spoilers throughout this video. Be sure to save this video and come back if you haven't watched episode 10 and 11 yet. I will link all of my recaps in the description box below. Let's get started. There's no secret that this season was created for drama and not love. Every couple deserves actor of the year, especially Jimmy and Jeremy. Laura is the bone carrier of this season. You smile in Chelsea's face and have a great fiance girl chat. And then you go to just giggling like, <laughs> yeah, he likes you. Like, girl, pick a side. When they're having their side chats about the people that they didn't choose, it's super cringy. It's, I, I, I can't. Y'all not ready for marriage. I said it since the first recap. Jeremy should have chose Sarah Ann. I sensed the chemistry from the pods from day one. Laura wasn't it. Production knew what they were doing. Netflix got very creative this season. The narrative of Sarah talking to a fiance. <laughs> Production set it up on purpose and it made great TV. We can't lie. This is probably the most talked about Love is Blind season thus far. Everyone that is in the love triangle was torn between who they should have chose versus who they actually chose. And that barbecue proved it. Now, I have to say it like I mean it, guys. It's hot seat time. Chelsea and Jimmy are on camera like, I love you. And Chelsea drops the tea about what happens off camera. Chelsea, baby, Jimmy has made you cry every episode since you guys got engaged. And you pissing me off. He's been trying to find ways to break up with you ever since he met you. Sorry, not sorry. Somebody had to say it because we all see it. Chelsea, you can't get drunk in the night. Create this whole attention-seeking argument. And then want to make up in the morning. Y'all both are childish liars. There's nothing wrong with Jimmy going out just like there was nothing wrong with you saying that you looked like Megan Fox. AD's mom? <laughs> that is a quintessential black mom, period. Did you see the reaction when they kissed? Bitch. Then she said, I like him. Like, girl, do you? Cause mom judged him as soon as he came in. The face never lies, honey. So I know we have our doubts about Clay, right? How do we feel about him after the chat with the mom? Is he just a smooth talker? Has he changed from the pods to now? I wanna know y'all thoughts. If you ask me, I still think he's full of shit and he's not ready. He keeps projecting his parents' issues onto himself which is essentially going to reflect his marriage. I do, I do believe that he's willing to try to, you know, grow and conquer and be a different man than his father was. However, comma, he does not need a publicized relationship that is about to literally turn into a marriage. He needs about a relationship or two. Get his feet wet, trial and error. You understand? Boy ain't ready. He's ready for therapy. He's ready for self change, but he's not ready. No. My predictions about episode 12 and the reunion are the couples are dropping like flies. At this point, I don't believe anyone will get married besides Johnny and Amy. Chelsea will cry, guaranteed. Laura and AD will have words with Sarah. If Chelsea and Jimmy do not last, she will end up with Trevor. Clay will find an excuse to run. Sarah and Jeremy will be a couple. They will be cuffing by the reunion. 
it will be a teary eyed dramatic reunion for sure. If you watched the season thus far, let's chat in the comments. I would love to know what y'all think and I can't wait to see if my predictions are right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to keep up with me. It will be greatly appreciated and see you next recap. Bye.